Hi everyone. Today my topic is simple stresses and strains. Later on this topic I am going to solve a problem. So first we will see what is stress. Stress is defined as the ratio of load acting per unit area of cross section. It is denoted as small f, small p and sigma. Normally stress is denoted by small letters and load is denoted by capital letters. So stress is equal to load by area. It is expressed in terms of newton per mm square. Next, strain. Strain is defined as the ratio of change in length to original length. It is denoted by small e and it has no units. Strain can be easily understood by this following diagram. I am considering a rod of length l on which t load is acting. After applying a load, the rod tends to increase in this direction. So the increase in this length is taken as delta L. So what is strain? Strain is defined as the ratio of change in length by original length. Change in length is this and original length, actual length. Now the next one is elasticity modulus. It is defined as the ratio of direct stress to direct strain. It is also called as Sinks modulus. It is denoted by capital E. Capital E can be written as direct stress by direct strain. Stress is denoted in terms of sigma and strain is small e. So stress can be written as P by A, load by area and strain as change in length by original length. By using the, this equation, we can find change in length as PL by AE. Change in length is also called as elongation or deformation. Now on this topic, I am going to solve a problem. The problem is a steel rod of 25 mm diameter the diameter of the steel rod is given to us as 25 mm whose length is 1 meter so l equals to 1 meter and can be written in mm as 1000 mm is subjected to an axial pull of 50 kilo newtons 50 kilo newton is the load load is denoted by capital p so 50 kilo newton can be written as in terms of newton 50 into 10 power 3 newton next if capital e that is young modulus is given as 2.0 into 10 power 5 newton per m square calculate the stresses and elongation in the rod two values we are going to find that is stress and change in length that is elongation so first for finding stress we have to consider a formula that is stress equals to load by area load is given to us as the cross section of the bar is circular we have to find the area by using circular rod formula that is pi by 4 into d square by substituting the value of d we got area as 490.87 mm square next substituting the area in stress formula we got stress as 101.85 newton per mm square now the next part is we have to find elongation we have direct formula for finding elongation that is change in length pl by ae p L by AE. Therefore, delta L equals to 0.509 mm.